Hello everyone. One of the most fundamental problems in calculus is determining the slope of a tangent to a given curve. In today's video, we will see what is the difference between the properties of the tangent lines of the circle and curve, and slope of a tangent line using limits. We begin by drawing a circle. And here we have drawn a line which is the tangent to the circle. Let us now use this diagram to determine the properties of this tangent line. The first property is that it meets the circle at only one point. The second property we learned from this diagram is. The circle lies on only one side of the line. The third property we discovered is that the tangent line is perpendicular to the line connecting the center of the circle to the point of contact. I believe you all got it pretty quickly. Now we apply these three properties one by one to any other curve to see if they apply there as well. Let's see if the first property is applicable or not. Let us suppose we have a curve. At point P, we drew a tangent. However, the tangent line intersects the curve at several points. This means that the first property cannot be used on it. Let's also look at the second property, which is that the circle will be on one side of the tangent line. At point P, we drew a tangent. Look at this curve carefully, and we discovered that it is on both sides of this tangent line. As a result, this property is also inapplicable. The third property states that the tangent is perpendicular to the line connecting the circle's center to the point of contact. Look at this curve carefully. We will know that this curve does not have obvious centers. Furthermore, most curves lack obvious centers. As a result, the third property is useless for characterizing tangents to them. Tangent line properties to circles do not help us define tangency for more general curves. Tangent lines can be defined using the concept of limits. Let's see how that goes. We drew a curved line. Assume we've drawn a tangent to the curve at x0. We introduced another point x0 plus h. This means that the distance between these two points is equal to h. We draw a line that connects the p and q points. This pq line is known as a secant line. The function's value at point p is f of x0. And at point q, f of x0 plus h. We now have two lines. The tangent line is one, and the secant line is another. What is the slope of the PQ line going to be? The slope is calculated by dividing the change in Y by the change in X. This ratio is known as the Newton quotient. When the denominator is solved, only H remains at the bottom. This is the slope of this secant line. The slope of a straight line shows how steep a straight line is. We can now calculate the slope of the tangent line. Let's look at how to calculate the slope of a tangent line. The slope of the secant line is known. Our work will be completed if we change the secant line to a tangent line. Let's get started. If we take the point Q of the secant line and move it towards the P point, we can see that the H distance is constantly decreasing. Now we have eliminated the H distance completely, which means that H is approaching zero. The secant line slope is now equal to the tangent line slope. This means that as H approached zero, the slope of the secant line changed to the slope of the tangent line. Using the concept of limit, we define the slope of the tangent line in this manner. One more thing, now we can write the equation of the tangent line, using the slope of the tangent line. In the next video, we will talk about vertical tangents. So don't forget to subscribe to this channel, and I'll see you in the next video. Thanks.